Okay, so we're gonna show you how to quickly make the El Ruderai um, uh, culture. So start with two tablespoons of the England prebiotic, two pretty decent sized tablespoons. There's one, there's two. Next step, take a little bit of the warmed up. Oh, we got the, yeah, since we're, oh, we got to do four, since we're doubling this, so. For a standard half quart or one quart uh, mixture, you're gonna use two, just two tablespoons. But since we're doing double that, we're gonna do four tablespoons of the, the inulin. So there's four. Okay. Before you start mixing this up, add a little bit of the warmed up half and half, which should be about 90, 99 degrees or so. Just a little bit, just to make a little like slurry down there. And you don't want to add too much because you're going to take all this anyway and you want to make it so it's smooth. Um, so it might take me some time to get all the clumps out. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all unclumped, smooth consistency. Almost like uh, you're making pancake batter, but a little more extra time is needed to make it smooth. Mixing this up, it's getting, getting pretty close. Pretty good. So the next step will be to, if you don't already have culture created to use for your next batch or batches, then you're gonna have to add more of the um, El Ruderai probiotic powder. Um, in that case, you would add, if you didn't have already have stuff made, you'd add two small little teaspoons basically uh, of this guy right here two of these per one quart of half and half this one we're not going to add any extra because we're going to use the previously cultured product so there's still a couple clumps in here make sure that's smooth 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 as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and take the pre cultured stuff. Look at that. No separation on there since this is like our maybe six batch or so. I'm going to take the whole thing. This is one cup. Since we're doing two serving, like two uh, two quarts of this, you typically only use need two tablespoons of the culture. But for this thing, I'm going to use the whole cup. No harm done here. Just giving it a nice potent mix. Add that in there. And I'm going to mix this all up until it's nice and smooth. And very little chunks if you can avoid it. You want it pretty smooth and you want that anyone mixed up well. So take your time on this step. Make sure you do it properly without, uh, as close as you can, without getting too many chunks. Next thing we're going to do is going to add the remaining amount slowly to the to this nice consistency batter that we've kind of created. Add a little bit there. You can go ahead and add the rest of it. Or typically you're not going to have that much because most people are going to be doing just one quart at a time. So this is number two quarts. Once this is all mixed up, I'll sit here and I'll mix this for a little while. Maybe couple minutes or so. And then the next step will be to add them to our jars here. As you can see, uh, it helps to have it, these all sanitized because you want just that uh, prebiotic operating in there. So once this is ready to go, which looks like it's pretty good, I'm going to set up the yogurt makers here. Each one's going to be a little bit different, but this is the, the ultimate yogurt maker. Um, press the temperature button once. On this one, I like to drop it down to about 103 or so, so it cooks at about 99. I'm going to hit the start button. Now it's going to ask me for my time. I'm going to go ahead and set it for 36 hours at 103 temperature. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Add my jars, let that sit for 36 hours, and here we go.